just took the pipberry garland off of the steps here, off of the banister. And we're fixing to put it back in the box that the pine garland came out of that we're fixing to put up here. Uh, for those that don't know, I have about 12 uh, pipberry garlands tied together, uh, wrapped in white lights that go up this banister usually on all other times of the year except for Christmas. For Christmas, we do switch it all out and put a pine garland and we add red berries. We started doing that last year and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go into some fun fast motion here as Chris wraps the pit berries into this box. in January. Admittedly, this is something that I cannot help Chris with too much. So this is usually his job. And as you can see here, he's pulling the, as I'm being very careful not to have him in the camera, <laughs> he's pulling the uh, garland down the steps uh, we have it tied together. Do you remember how many feet we have or how many? We did like, what, three or four garlands of... It takes about 45 feet. Worth it takes about 45 feet of whatever it is we're using to do this banister and around the bullnose here at the end too. So uh, we do not wrap our garland. We do swag it, for lack of a better word. And uh, at the swag points, we put these bows, and these are all red velvet funky bows that I made last year. And uh, as I said, then we will tie red berries into the green garland. And I'll show you how we do that when we get to that point. But he's just using uh, tie wraps, zip ties, cable ties, whatever you call them and he's zip tying them onto the banister. And he, I think he keeps a string on the garland so that he knows from year to year where the swag points are. And uh, so we'll have like a swag and a swag, you know, like a whoop, a loop and a loop there, and then to there and then to there and then so and so on as we come down the staircase so we need a total of eight swag points and uh then one at the bull nose and all my bull nose stuff is in this box let me walk over there and show you little mr elf santa and i bought the last year i think i got him uh, he will sit right in the bull nose. Isn't he cute? I got him over at the, sit up there, buddy, over at the Snow and Ice store. He is adorable. I love him. Check out his feet. <laughs> so cute. So, so cute. And then I already, let's see in this box. This, this box holds the entire, everything that goes on the bull nose. You can see I have a wreath. I just did a pine wreath and just wrapped the same kind of berries that we'll put on the garland coming down the steps. I tied into this, wrapped it in white lights and put a bow on the front of it. And this sits right next to him. So we will do that last, but so cute. Love him. He was, I think, might have been the first one I started collecting. So it might have been a couple of years ago that I got him. I honestly don't know, you guys. My years run together sometimes. Anyway, I'll be back when the garland is all swagged up here and show you how we put the red berries into it. Well, we have a couple of swags that are, the lights are out which is typical, uh, and Chris has his stash of extra bulbs, and he will 
take them out and replace them and find which ones are out. Next thing to do is the red berries, is to add the red berries. And here is what we bought last year. And it looks like we have, looks like we tied them together into one big garland. So we will show you, you just, we just simply use the pine on the garland to wrap the berries in. We kind of just separate out the pine and we snug in the, the red berries and then we take two the sprigs. sprigs of the pine and we wrap them together to hold the berries in just like you would a like a pipe cleaner or a twist tie. So that's what we're gonna do next. I'm not sure if Chris is gonna go for the lights next or we're gonna do the berries next. I got these berries off of Amazon last year and they actually came with uh, a red marker and I see one, I might need to use one like there that you can color in if any of the red comes off. These are pretty good quality. I really have enjoyed these red berries uh, since I started using them last year. They're, they are just so pretty. They match the bows. It's just such a classic look, in my opinion. Green garland, white lights, red berries, and red bows. Does anything speak more to Christmas than that? I'm not sure it does. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back. fluff just a little not too bad though I don't have the light on with my lightning can you tell sorry about that I don't have a plug nearby that I can plug it in <laughs> but there, there we, we go. go that worked out First Chris is smushing it with whatever it is he's doing. <laughs> then Mr. Mister is going to go on right about like that. And what I did, the red and white poinsettia like that, and I just get in here and I let his coat kind of go where it will. He just sits there. I don't have to tie him on or anything like that. He just sits there. Ready, ready for Christmas. <laughs> he looks cute. All right, now just need to tie all the bows on the swag points and we will be done. The staircase. <laughs> my country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today it is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what i'm up to and as you've seen in the first part of this video we've been up to doing our staircase oh my goodness it's turned out pretty uh chris still needs to replace some of the lights and the one uh, you know piece of the garland there which he does that in his sleep, I'm telling you, because he does normally replace the lights on a regular basis. Uh, when he sees them starting to go out, 
And what we might do with the pip berries before we put them back up is put LED, warm white LED lights on them and they won't probably ever go out or it'll be a long, long time before they do. These are more like the incandescent lights, like incandescent light bulbs, you know, just your regular white lights and they tend to burn out. So I'm so glad that they came out with a warm white light that is an LED light. They didn't used to have them. They all looked blue, you know? <laughs> so that's probably what we're gonna do with the Pitberry Garland, but we're not gonna replace all these lights here. You know, it's just a lot to do and we've got a lot to do and really don't have the time to do it this year, to dedicate to it this year. So we'll do that another year. But anyway, I thought I would come on camera first to say hello. And you saw me here at the bullnose going, oh, don't look at me. I went and put a little lipstick on and fluffed up my hair. I'm still not dressed, you know, Christmassy, but please forgive me in this video that I'm not dressed kind of Christmassy. I usually like to dress at least in a color that I'm working with. And I'm really, there. there's a little pink in my sweater. That's about as close as I get to red. But anyway, I, I wanted to come on, on, come on on here and just make this one video with the staircase and then I'm gonna put together my little three-tiered snowman, if you will, and I'll explain that in a minute. I'm gonna work right here with this. Uh, but I wanted to first say thank you. I wanted to say first thank you to all of my regular subscribers who have been tuning in and watching my uh, every single video, leaving me such wonderful comments. Thank you so very much. I appreciate every single one of them. I know I've not been able to get back to you, but as you can see, we have been moving and shaking like crazy trying to get this house turned over. And I, I feel like I'm a little behind because we had, you know, we went to celebrate with my cousin for a day and my dad was here all that weekend. And I normally would have been working that weekend, but unfortunately wasn't able to do it. Uh, regardless, we are moving and shaking on through this series, aren't we? <laughs> More videos than I thought I would be able to put up. And um, as I get them done, I'm putting them up, you guys. And there will, be, there will be a lull on my channel after I get my decorating done. There'll be a lull. I don't know. I'll probably work right up to Thanksgiving or pretty close to it. Then we'll have Thanksgiving and I'll probably take that weekend off after Thanksgiving. But then we'll come back and we'll be doing the outdoor decor and then a home tour. So before uh, I have my whole family come in here mid-December. I mean, my whole, a lot of my family is coming here more than usual. <laughs> so... Oh, I got a lot going on. Anyway, regardless, thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who are watching and might not have taken the step to hit that subscribe button, I would sure appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is free to do, and it really helps me and my channel. It helps my channel grow a little bit, and it helps me just, you know, make me feel good to see those numbers click up a little bit. I so appreciate all of you new folks who have done just that and hit the notification bell and click the like. Thank you so much, thank you so much. But anyway, let me tell you about this. Let me turn my camera here and I will tell you about this three tiered and, and it's actually a pumpkin. It is not a snowman. But what I do, for those of you who have just joined me, you might not be familiar with this. There we go, you can kind of see it. It's up on a, it's up on a, a stool here and it's one, two, three tiers and you can, I don't know whether you can see, but it has leaves on the top right there, right here. Uh, and it's a three tiered pumpkin. But what I do through the year, like in January, it'll look like I put like some greenery around each tier and it kind of looks like it's like a pumpkin that's that's kind of tired and and is laying over in the in the patch uh, with some and, and and the earth is taking it back over kind of if you will. Then uh, for Thanksgiving I leave it like this, but I put uh, fall leaves around each tier, and you know I leave the top as is. But for Christmas time, uh, sometimes I'll put leaves inside too. These all open up. Uh, it, I got this at Joann's in the fall time several years ago. I have not unfortunately seen it since that year that I purchased it, <clears throat> unfortunately. But if you could find anything like this, this is an idea for you guys. 
So of course I want to make this guy a snowman and what does a snowman need but a top hat, right? And so I got this top hat and I'm trying to think where I got it. I was either, I might have ordered it from craftoutlet.com actually. And I just put the leaves up inside the hat and that holds the hat on. And I kind of like it, and I kind of like it tilted on his head like that to make him look kind of like a dapper snowman, you know? <laughs> Let me tell you what I have inside. I have, this is, I believe it's just one or it might be two Pitberry garlands that I've cut and put wrapped fairy lights around and then Chris rigged them up in his way like I told you about in the cozy corner uh, video. If you want to know how to do that, there's a link in the description box of every video to his tutorial about how to switch battery operated lights into lights that you can plug in to an adapter and they'll come on like an electric like wood. Uh, and so that, and I'm just going to leave the pit berries like this because I think it looks like it's snowing inside, you know? And this is what I used last year. And you can see pumpkin snowman. And I just have, guess what? Some more red berries. And I just simply have a piece of red ribbon, my red velvet ribbon, the same ribbon that I used to tie the bows. And this, I very, very simply do this, fella. I really and truly did not want to make this anything difficult for myself. I just put, wrap the, the red berries around his neck and I leave a bit hanging down like this. And I use a zip tie and I'm just, I'm gonna turn him around here and tie him in the back and tie the berries on in the back. And you don't need it every rung, just here and there. I'll probably put two on. Maybe just one actually will work. Okay, so I have one piece of ribbon. This is the same ribbon that I used to tie all my bows up on the staircase and just simply wrap it around his neck just like this usually over the berries and take the left over the right you see left over the right loop it in there tie it You don't need it to be extremely, extremely tight. Get a little wiggle room here so I can spread out the ribbon on his neck a little bit. And then make a loop, come around it with the other strip, twist it, and then pull it through. And that makes a pretty little square. So, of course, fluff it out, and there we go. And I just went digging in the in the bin, and I knew I had more on him last year, and I ended up having this little tuff of pine with some red berries on it. So all I'm going to do is stick this and tie wrap it on and add, add it to the mix here. I just simply... Had it just attached right like that and tie wrapped on or zip tied, whatever, on. There we go. My goodness. There we go. Now he's really ready. <laughs>
Much better. Much, much better. There we go. All righty, there we go. Much better. Something simple like this, it, it's just, you know, it just makes me so happy. All right, there we go. He looks much better. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am morphing in here with a little bit more footage of this staircase. I'm still gonna take some pictures at night and I will show them to you at the end, but I wanted to show you what we've added to the stairs here. We started doing this last year and I think I've told you guys that I love to go over to the uh, snow and ice store in Harrisonburg, Virginia. And I've been collecting Santas each year for several years. And I got these two gentlemen. In the last couple of years. And then these are the two that I picked up this year. They came as a pair, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. So I love that they're on the staircase like this. And I think they look pretty spiffy standing there. Okie dokie, that does it. Oh my goodness, I knew he was missing something. I was so bothered. I was like, what is missing? Something is missing. So, see, I can't always remember from year to year. So I had to go look at a picture. I went and looked at a picture and that's what I found. I said, where is it? So I'm digging in the bed and finally found it. So there we go. <laughs> All right, I did recreate the wheel with him this year for sure. And with the staircase, as a matter of fact. I love both things. Again, I love the, the classic look of green pine and red berries and white lights. I just think that is such a classic, beautiful look for Christmas and one that never goes out of style and never looks old fashioned. So I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, that's gonna be it, you guys. That's gonna be it for today. So let me take a moment to thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for all of you that have been coming back time and time again watching my series here so far and we are moving and shaking aren't we we really are moving and shaking i've got family coming mid-december uh, and more family than usually comes so got a lot going on a lot going on but we're trying to get this house decorated and bring you as much as we can uh you know with decorate with me and other little tidbits of information so so i'll go thank into my final words and say thank y'all so much for stopping in here today. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say stick around because I'll take some pictures of this at night and show this to you at night. It is really pretty at night, I'm telling you, very, very pretty. And I'll take you a couple pictures of Mr. Snowman here, ready for his whatever he's got going on. <laughs> but with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.